is brought to you by Lincoln Savings Bank. At home in Iowa, at work for you. Welcome to Panther Sports Talk. We're talking UNI track and field with head coach Dave Paulson as the UNI Panthers had two men athletes at the 2022 NCAA Indoor Track and Field Championships. The first time the Panthers have had more than just one male athlete at the Indoor Championships since 2008. And coach, I know it was a lot of fun just having two guys qualify for the NCAA Championships uh, and Darius King in the shot put and then Isaiah Trousel had a fantastic conference championship championships to put up a low mark. Yeah, anytime you can get multiple athletes to the national championships, uh, that's a great thing for your program. And uh, the indoor track and field championships is, uh, I think, by far the hardest postseason championship to make in all of college athletics. You take the top 16 in each event. Uh, it's a descending order list, so the athletes have all season to hit those marks to get you there. Uh, you don't compete your way in like a lot of the other championships do, like we do outdoors. Uh, so it's it's tough. And so for those guys to get it done, uh, Darius again to get there for the second year in a row, and then you know Isaiah, his senior year, uh, overcoming a lot of adversity through his career to get to the point and want to be in the nation's top, uh, one of their top 200 meter runners in the country was uh, outstanding to see. Let's start with Darius King uh, in the shot put. Uh, second year in a row competing at the indoors. He was he was there back in 2020, warming up, getting ready to compete when the world shut down due to the pandemic. Uh, three-time shot put conference indoor champion and a three-time uh, All-American as well, uh, going there for the third time. Yeah, I mean, his consistency has been absolutely phenomenal. If you look at the, the conference as a whole, the shot put is one of the best conferences out there in the country. So for him to win three in a row, uh, get three national qualifying uh, performances along the way uh, to earn three you know all-american honors in, in that process as well uh, i mean he, there's just no doubt about it he's the greatest shot putter of all time in our our school's history and one of the top two top three guys in the mvc uh history so uh you just can't say enough about him and, and you know three shot put titles in a row but he also finished third three years in a row uh in the weight throw and so um, you're looking at a guy that's scoring 16 points per championships uh, by himself that's just a phenomenal feat in itself you talk about a guy that uh, that goes out there and competes. You mentioned the top 16 from the entire indoor season qualify for the indoor championships, hit the 20 meter mark uh, in the shot put. A guy that just continues to grow and really developing his strength and technique. Yeah, he just, I mean, and I don't think he's hit one all the way yet. You know, and I think that's the exciting thing is that he's thrown 20, 30, uh, which is, you know, 66 feet, seven inches. And he, ha he isn't done. I think he definitely has a high 20 meter, maybe a 21 meter throw in there. And so we're just uh, looking forward to continuing to work with him. Coach Castle, our first year throw coach here has done a terrific job with Darius. Um, and Darius has gotten on board with a kind of like a new system. Uh, and so that's that's terrific to see those guys mesh well together and uh, push, that, uh, push that bar even further. How have you seen him kind Kind of handle, uh, adjust, maybe uh, adapt working with a new throws coach. Uh, coach O'Mara was here for a long time and now Coach Castle doing an excellent job. Yeah, I mean, that says a lot about Darius as, a, as, a, as an athlete and as a person to, you know, have someone come in. Uh, you know, things are a little bit different as far as the, the training model and how it works. Uh, weight room's a little bit different. Uh, technical aspects are, are trying to make some tweaks and adjustments there. But uh, it just says a lot about Darius and his ability to just be, uh, be flexible, understand there's a lot of different ways to get there. And uh, at the end of the day, he just wants to be as good as he can get. And the best way to do that is to buy into to what we're doing. And uh, Coach Castle does a really good job of blending the two things together because you also want to take a lot of input from Darius. He, he has earned the right to have a little more input in you know technical things and, and things that he likes to feel going into a big meet and those kind of things. So really excited to see what he can do uh, come this outdoor season because now he has four events for us and not two. And so he's you know a guy that scores in four events outdoors. And uh, anytime you can get a guy to be even more versatile, it really helps the program. Darius King, uh, indoor shot put uh, NCAA championships qualifier and All-American now gets ready for outdoor season. The last outdoors coach, really memorable uh, for him. You talk about uh, conference champion in the shot put, uh, All-American at outdoors, and then going to the U.S. Olympic trials and being in a competition in the finals with some of the best in the world. Yeah, it's uh, that season was something special, so it's going to be hard to top it, but I know he's he's anxious to do it. And I think what's great is he's made a lot of progress this this uh, this fall uh, and this winter with some other events. Uh, he's looking really good in the hammer throw and in the discus. Uh, he does throw the javelin uh, sparingly for us at the conference meet. He'll, he'll pick that up. Uh, he was, you know, third place at the conference meet in the javelin. And so, you know, a guy that can score upwards of 20, maybe 30 points uh, at a conference championships individually uh, really pushes our team in a, in a big time positive direction. And uh, just kind of looking forward to seeing how, how all plays out. And and 
I just want to enjoy the ride. You know, a, a guy like Darius doesn't come along, you know, every single year. This is a, a generational type of an athlete that we have in our program right now. And, I, you know, as a, as a coach who doesn't coach him individually, like in practice every day, it's uh, really fun for me to just kind of sit back and enjoy the ride. And so uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing what he can do for us this outdoor season. All right, Panthers get their outdoor season fired up in April. We'll take a break. We'll come back. We'll talk about Isaiah Trousel, a sprinter at the NCAA Indoor Championships after this.